are using more and more algorithms in our daily lives, systems are really determining our behavior. If you look at public transport, for example, you have these gates where you now have to show your ticket and then they open. Ten years ago, that wasn't like that. The law was there. I had to have a ticket before I could go and sit in a tram. But if I didn't want to, I could just walk in and sit there and then I would take the risk and I would get caught. But it was my decision. Now I cannot take that decision anymore because I just cannot cross that gate. If you have these systems determining your behavior, you have to be able to trust them. You have to make sure that the people that design these systems actually take the desires of society into account. What do we want out of these systems? Complex analytics underpins most of today's most important business questions. So it's really important that business leaders are able to trust in the data, in the analytics, in the algorithms and the decisions that they make on the basis of that data. And, and that's what I mean by trusted analytics. There being four foundational anchors of trust, which it's really important for our clients to both understand and be able to address. The first is about trust in the quality of the data and the analytics. The second anchor is around the effectiveness of the analytics and whether, whether it's meeting its intended purpose and whether it's adding value to the organization. The third anchor is around integrity and really whether the data is being used for the right purpose and, and an appropriate purpose. And fourthly, an anchor around operational control, trying to make the data analytics extend into the future in a way that's both appropriate and, and effective, so that the analytics tomorrow is as effective as the analytics today. We see trust be the foundation for a consumer trusting uh, an autonomous car, or trusting a new form of payments that's powered by blockchain, or maybe trusting telemedicine and have an algorithm prescribe their, their drugs and medication. In the business model, we see the importance of trust analytics to inform the business decision in this new business model. Trust is an important factor in, in data and analytics, and obviously technology does play a part in that. I think what's far more important than the trust in technology is the trust into the analytics themselves, i.e. the analytical content that you use to process the data. All those questions around whether I can trust the results I get from data analytics, that is the key question that needs to be addressed. So there's a whole trust chain to be filled in, but we are the parties that actually need to provide that trust in that chain. And that's a huge job. If you're thinking about the trust chain, I think there's a huge opportunity there and we should take it because it's not only important for us, but it's actually important for society that we pick that role. Insurance industry is one of the sectors that can really leverage data and analytics very well in understanding their customers, their behavior and how customers want to be interacted with and what offers and products they're looking for. Internet of Things have made this so much easier for insurance and insurers are really embracing this. Think of the wearable devices that monitors our health, telematics devices in our cars and apps that we use to interact with our insurers. We are increasingly living in an age where data drives our behaviour and how we interact with companies such as our insurers. Organisations are using more and more analytics to drive better and faster decision making. And as they're moving up the maturity curve from traditional BI that tells them what happened in the organisation to predictive and machine learning that tells them what they should be doing, more and more trust is placed in the algorithms that underlie these analytic solutions. And hence just the need for trust, knowing that you can trust your data and trust what comes out of your analytics becomes so much more important. The more we see headlines about data breaches, think Panama Papers, the Sony email hack, the more us as people and clients become very concerned about what organizations are doing with our data and organizations become increasingly worried about how do I protect my data, how do I govern it well and that just highlights the importance for proper data security and data governance. Ideally data ownership on a functional level should be allocated to a single person in an organization and all of this should be steered by a data council that makes sure that across an organization data is treated like an asset, it's well governed and protected. Companies spend a lot of money trying to secure their data and this is often overwhelming. My advice would be to start looking at your data, see what's really sensitive and really important information and spend your efforts initially in securing that data and then naturally your data will start expanding and your security efforts will be improved over time. 
Data and analytics is not a new thing. A lot of our clients are actively uh, running programs to do data and analytics. Um, at KPMG, we started talking about trusted analytics because it's not just about the data that you've got, but how do you know that the data is producing the right results? So when we talk about trusted analytics, there's four anchors that define what this means. These are quality, effectiveness, integrity, and resilience. Each of these plays a role in the DNA lifecycle. You need to think about these things right from when you're sourcing the data, how you're preparing data, how you're blending it, how you do the analysis, how you model this, how you're going to use it and deploy it, and finally, how effective is the actual analytics that you're running. One of the data points from our recent KPMG Forrester report is that fewer than half of South African respondents actually use up-to-date data sources. This, this means that the first foundation of trusted analytics is being compromised, and that is using accurate data. Data and analytics is all about providing the right insights and recommendations from the data. If we can't trust the data, then how do we get the insights out? We need to be able to distinguish between true anomalies and the normal data that is, is given to us. This has important implications for processes like ones that are designed to combat crime, like anti-fraud technology.